Hey guys, Melissa here. So I discovered a new fun technique and it's not using nail polish anymore. It's using acrylic paint. I came across paint pourers on YouTube that actually make jewelry from their acrylic skins, they call it. When these artists make their paintings with the acrylic paint, all the drippings that they have underneath the painting or the canvas, when that dries, they call it an acrylic skin. And I found out you can make jewelry with acrylic skins. I don't know if you saw my previous video. I kind of played around with nail polish in kind of the same way. I poured a bunch of nail polish out on a tile and uh, swirled them together and made a skin out of that. Nail polish is hard to work with. It dries quickly. It's very stinky. The fumes are obnoxious. So I went and picked up a bunch of different acrylic paints. So in this video, you're going to see me playing around making my own acrylic skin using the swipe technique. And if you don't know what an acrylic skin is, here's my leftovers so far. I can still use it for lots more jewelry. The back looks pretty cool too. So this is the acrylic skin, and these are some of the pieces of jewelry that I made with it. I made a bracelet, some dragon eye pendants, and look how cool that is. You can see all the shimmer. I used metallic paints. I also made these pendants as well, and you can also make earrings. So if you want to see how I made these, just stay tuned and I'll show you how. Okay, so let's get started. I'm in my kitchen here. Probably not the best setup, but that's all I got. It's got the best lighting, so this is where I'm going to do it. I don't need a lot of space. Um, I'm just making some acrylic skins, so I don't need a lot of space for a huge canvas or anything. But I do have this Lazy Susan or cake decorator type thing. I got this at Michael's. This is just a regular size 12 by 12 ceramic tile wrapped in freezer paper. I put it on this Lazy Susan in case I wanted to spin it. And for paints, now a little disclaimer here. This is my first time. I'm very new to this acrylic pouring. So if you want to learn more about acrylic pouring, uh, there's plenty of information online. And that's where I got my information. YouTube, of course. So what I did is I grabbed a bunch of colors. These are all from Michael's Artist Lock. These are all the metallic. I wanted to go metallic, that dragon skin look. So that's metallic red, metallic orange, metallic lemon yellow, metallic leaf green, metallic cobalt blue, metallic blue. Over here we've got metallic purple. And I darkened it up with some dioxazine purple. Yeah, that's Liquitex. And I've got some Liquitex Basics Black. And I've got some Blood Flow Trawl there in the corner. I mixed all of these two parts Flow Trawl to one part paint. I thinned them out with this is water and 10% Flow Trawl. I thinned out all the paints to the same consistency. Apparently that's very crucial. So I did that. I didn't mix a lot of paint because I don't need a lot. I'm just making a skin. I don't need it to overflow or anything. I got about one ounce of paint, I would say, for paint mix in my cups. And I mixed it to where it falls off the stick and creates a slight mound and then disappears right away. So I did that with every single color. Kind of a tedious setup, but hopefully the results will be amazing. I wanted to go this route to go along with the nail polish painting. I paint my dragon eyes with nail polish, but I wanted to go the acrylic paint route to see what kind of effects I can get. So this is basically an experiment. I think it would be a lot better than using nail polish. The fumes are bad and sometimes the results I don't quite like, so we'll see how it goes. Um, so I'm going to use what they call a swipe technique. So I bought this pie server at Dollar Tree. Dollar Tree. So I'm going to lay out my paint and I'm going to swipe the black over the top of all the colors and see what kind of effect we can get. What I'm also going to do in the black itself, I'm going to throw some silicone in it, which I've got here in this coconut milk anti-breakage serum. I'm just going to throw a couple drops in there. I don't need too much. 
I can get this open. Oh. Okay, that should be plenty. It's probably too much. Mix that in pretty good. All right, let's see what we can do here. I'm already making mistakes. That's all right. I'm not going for a canvas. I'm just going for skins. So all the mistakes I make will just be thrown out, I guess, in the end. Here's green. Teal. Blue. I'm going to throw the black in the back by the red. And I'm also going to throw some on the back of my spatula. I'm dripping. All right, let's get going. Let's swipe. I'm going to put it in the black and swipe it over the top. I don't know if I want to touch it anymore. Tilt it a little bit.
I should probably not touch it. Torching gets the bubbles out. Luckily, our, I already have a torch. Okay, I think I'm just going to let this sit and I'll come back to it and see what we've got.
to match. Okay, it's been 24 hours and I'm gonna cut these out really quick and get them into some settings. here. Isn't this cool? This is so exciting. Okay, everybody's cut out. I just need to glue them into their bezels. I do that with the diamond glaze.
these dry, put them aside, and I'll need to clean them up a little bit when they're dry. Got a little glue on the outside, but that's okay. It comes off easily. So this guy, I picked up some of this triple thick from Deco Art brush on glaze. I'm gonna put a coat on today and let it sit for probably a day and then put a few more coats on after that. I'm just gonna brush it on. Oof, getting kind of slow, oh, oh, getting kind of sloppy. Gonna thin this out a little bit. I'm sure once it's dry, I can pick off any that gets on the metal, but I don't want it too thick. Okay, I'm gonna let this sit. All right, so we'll come back tomorrow. Okay, so we're 24 hours later. This is what the bracelet looks like. It's got a nice gloss to it. I'm gonna do at least one more coat on it. And here's the pendants. Pendants are dry, I just need to clean them up. On the side here, I need to clean up. Isn't that cool? It's got blue in it, some teal, and some red. So you get the picture. I think I'm done with my video here. What do you guys think? There's so many possibilities with this technique. So I'm really excited to see what I can come up with in the future. So stay tuned for that. If you uh, enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you thought. So as always, have a great week and I'll see you next time.